First, I want to emphasize that in order to use the method I'm going to show, you must have two-factor authentication enabled in your Gmail account. So if you don't have it enabled already, start with enabling two-factor authentication. Once we have two-factor authentication enabled, let's head over to accounts.google.com. Here, we're going to look for app passwords. And here it is, app passwords, so let's choose it from the list. Here, we're going to generate the password that we're going to use in our Node.js application. So first, we need to select an app. And as you can see, there are several options to choose from, but we don't want any of them, so we'll go with other custom name. And you can use any name you want, I'll just go with Node Mailer. And let's generate. Now, you're only going to see this password on this specific screen. And once you click on Done, there is no way to recover it. So make sure that you copy this password before clicking on Done. I'll just leave this window open for the moment. Let's now move on to creating a Node.js application. As you can see, I already created a new empty folder on my computer, and this is where I want to create my Node.js application. So let's start Visual Studio Code. And let's open the new empty folder. Let's close the welcome page. And now let's open the built-in terminal. I'll start by initializing npm in this folder. And now I'll install the node mailer package from npm. So that's done, and let's create a new file, and I'll just call it app.js. Let's start by requiring Node Mailer. And using Node Mailer, we need to create a transporter, which is basically the service that we're going to use to send our email. As a parameter to the create transport function, we're going to pass an object. The first key we're going to provide to this new object is service. And its value will be Gmail. The second key is going to be auth. And the value of auth is going to be another object. Now in the auth object, we're going to first provide the user. And here you need to provide your Gmail address. That's the email account we're going to use to send the emails. And the second key to the auth object is going to be pass. And here we need to paste the password we generated before. So let's get back to our Google account page, copy the password that was generated, and then paste it as our password. The next thing we need to do is to define our mail options. And this is also going to be an object. First, we need to provide the from field. And I'll just use my Gmail account again. Then we need to provide the to field. And once again, I use the same email account. Next, we need to provide the subject of the email. And lastly, we need to provide the text field, which is the body of the email. Once we're done with that, all that's left is using our transporter object to actually send the email. And as a parameter, we're going to pass the mail options, of course. So let's open the terminal again to run our application. And I'll simply run node app. And since I sent the email to myself, I can simply open my Gmail account. And here you can see the email I just sent.